What's up, welcome back. So just fairly recently, probably a, like three or four days ago, I changed some of my controller binds. And for those of you who don't know, I play with uh, the FPS Dominator Strike Pack. Basically, it just makes your controller have two paddles. I mean, it's pretty cheap, but it does pretty much the same thing like a scuff does. Obviously, a scuff is a whole controller. This is just a little add-on. Scuff has like the trigger stops and you can get all fancy and customize and stuff. This pretty much just adds the paddles. So this video is kind of intended at anyone who has the paddles, whether you have the Xbox Elite, the Astro controller, this, you have the Scuff controller, pretty much any controller that has paddles, because otherwise these binds wouldn't make sense. So I made a video about a week ago kind of going through my binds and switching them up a little bit, and I had everything switch. I think I had like square for change mode, I put my pickaxe on like the map button on the touchpad, and I was doing all this just so I could have my pad, my right paddle just be edit instead of switch mode and edit. So I was changing all this and then I'm like, why don't I just change R3 to switch mode? Because I don't use R3 for anything. I changed my crouch a couple months ago and then I just turned on automatic sprint. So I don't even have to click L3 and to actually sprint. I just push it forward and it automatically sprints. So this made the most sense and I don't know why I didn't think of this first, but I all I had to do was change a single bind. So if we go in and look at some of my settings, those are all like my whatever all of those settings if you're interested in that but my actual controller binds this is what they are it's pretty much builder pro but a couple things change like i said i change l3 to crouch and then i turn the automatic sprint or whatever that setting is called i turn that on so i didn't need an actual sprint button and then i change circle just to edit which circle is my paddle and then X is still jump, but my paddle is also mapped to X, so my I use my paddle to jump. So I have edit mapped to my right paddle, and then and then jump or X mapped to my left paddle. Otherwise, my toggle pickaxe is on triangle, cert, or square is still reload to, or interact. I haven't messed with any of the D-pad stuff, and the map is still that game menu. So then my build controls are pretty much the exact same. Square, triangle, all the actual wall pieces and roofs and all of that is default. The only thing that's changed is the switch mode in the crouch. There's only one thing that I still have a problem with. When I'm going through and switching traps because my R3 is switch mode, I used to press R3 to like rotate through my jump pads and traps and turrets and all that. But because that's on switch mode, that doesn't work anymore. And I don't know what actual setting that is. I messed around with it a little bit, and I can't find what the actual setting is for that. So right now, it's still on the right D-pad. That's how it is. But as you can see in here, it says that's squad comms. So I'm not really sure. You don't need much stuff bound while you're actually editing, so that's fine. And then my dead zone is... I honestly I just keep it on default because I don't really know any good values or what to put it at and I think default works fine for me. So if you are changing your settings and this does come up, it says please bind the sprint slash auto sprint double click action to a button. If you don't trust me you're going to have a bad time. That's wrong. You just click decline and you leave because you can still sprint if you turn that setting on. The reason I went through and did all of this was simply so I could have my edit be on instant so I don't have to hold it because holding my edits was messing me up a lot and so now my edits can be as fast as my fingers and my console will let them be. So obviously I'm still like four days in on these new binds but having R3 a switch mode is actually pretty nice because it's really quick even though the paddle was still super quick, I never have to take my thumbs off. So just clicking it and building, I can just go right away and it it's completely fine. So I've been practicing a lot of like edit downs in this edit course that I found yesterday. The code's at the top of your screen right now if you want to check this edit course out. And then it has these little like progression stair edits and then it has these edit downs all already built so it's kind of cool and so this is kind of what I've been trying to do and it's still a little weird because 
obviously I wasn't used to being able to edit this fast, so it still even goes a little too fast for me sometimes. But... But it does give me a lot more room to improve than I had before. Before, I was pretty much going as fast as I possibly could. This allows me to go even faster than that. Now I just need to be consistent with it. So having the instant edit allows for stuff like this to be way smoother. Before this was like a challenge, now it's just, I mean, pretty simple obviously. So if you're still currently on the like Builder Pro defaults like I have been for so long, you don't really mess with your binds, these are some great binds. If you already have your whole thing figured out and you've remapped everything, because there probably are better binds out there, but if you don't want to relearn and be bad for a really long time and still be able to get better, then these are some great binds to be using. I just recently learned this from watching one of Face Sway's videos and it's pretty fun to do. So, the part that I learned was, I mean, I've known how to do that, but that's how you start it off. And then you go stair, floor, stair, edit through the floor, place a pyramid on top, then another stair, floor, stair. Then from there, you can do a couple things. You can either, you can edit through this and then do what I just did and do like that and then jump along this or or you can edit through this and then grab the stair and flip it backwards and then do whatever from there and then do something from there and whatever and then you can go again do whatever you need before i could do stuff like this but that was the maximum i could do i could only do two and even then was pushing it and so now, like, just editing is faster. You can sit here and do that kind of stuff all day. So in the end, it's just pretty nice. Those are just some binds I want to share you and add, make like a little update video as to what I posted last week. Because last week, I mean, those binds were okay. This just makes it more simple, and I don't have to be bad at the game for two or more weeks while I'm trying to learn the actual binds. So this is just better all around. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe if you are new, drop a comment if you want. I'll see you in the next one.